Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 and here it looks like we're going to do another stealth mission that suddenly turns into a massive all out fire fight. So let's just jump straight into it. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar throw you. Belikov is the real deal. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried half of them. Heads up. Scout's on the ridge line. We should drop him now before we get any closer. Good kill. Not bad. Let's keep moving. You take one fuck with, I'll get the other. Good kill. I'm moving. Going out, huh? <laughs> I like it. Shit, this looks dicey. But hey, if it's good enough, the Reds. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. You go first. Time to pay Ivan a visit. Years. Barely. Let's keep moving. Good kill. See any more? Damn. Look at this place. I think they said they're prepping the mainframe for extraction with a crane. We find the crane. Find the mainframe. Ugh, Soviet engineers.
or beauty. Whatever. Lost my damn gun. You're going first next time. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Station. Woods. Great. Crossbow bolt. Место было заброшено после схода лавины. Но я слышал, что при раскопках были найдены тела с пулевыми ранениями. Ты что, хочешь сказать, Все что здесь. наше начальство скрыло вражескую атаку на советской земле? Лавины не стреляют в людей. Я люблю в случае. Нам пора идти. Ты что, боишься привидений? Я боюсь заблудиться и замерз нас насмерть, слушаю твои идиотские байки. Давай уже закругляться с обходом. Чисто. В любом случае, разве здесь есть что-то важное? Не вижу ничего ценного. You gotta be close. Over 
here. With the ruckus you made, I'm surprised the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. In here, Chief. Mason, hop on that scope. Look for something that could lift the mainframe. You see any dig sites? There, what's that? Bingo. That crane matches the dig site on this map. That's gotta be it. There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. Excuse me? My... my winch? Sorry, you're breaking up. <laughs> they got a crane, we got a chopper. Dimitri, we're 
Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know, but we're gonna do this the right way. We're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you with me. Lazar, be ready for Exville. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. You just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. So, I guess that was it for part five. Have a quick look round the base, see what's new. Don't think there is Curious. anything. Does the name Madame Shell mean anything to you? Oh, sounds familiar. There's intel crisscrossing ARPANET that her body washed up along the Padigios River in Cyprus. Oh, that's so. And her head, two kilometers downstream. Reports estimate her death around August of last year. Of all places, you were on assignment in Cyprus this past summer. Coincidence, wouldn't you say? Our line of work is full of coincidences. MI6 was keen on finding her. A rogue double agent gone dark for several years. I suppose she must have exposed herself somehow to the CIA. Leave behind a trail of heads? Bound to get attention? I worked with Madame Michelle for three years, closely. I trusted her. But the moment I began to suspect something, you knew. I was able to fight her off, but she left me with this parting gift. Oof. That's a dirty gun. <laughs> Quite. So imagine my surprise when I read these reports. Madame Shell, body washed up on one bank, head on the other. Ironic, wouldn't you say? I'd call it 
poetic justice. The Tsar. Thank you. For what? Well, that was interesting. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Seems like there's more going on here. <coughs> Let's see if anything else pops up while walking around. Can't get nothing from the fridge. Let's see what he says. Nope. God damn it. Okay. Time to break out your Russian belt. Well, she's... <laughs> you know what this dude thinks about Park. She's a true professional. I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me? And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? Yep, it's a long way to Moscow. That was a nice little chat. Let's see what he has to say. What's on your mind? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? Mm -hmm. I don't. He's not one of mine. If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. No, MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents and client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours, supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. The man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? I jumped off a roof in Calcutta back in 75 while chasing a Soviet agent. The jump was successful. The landing, not so much. Advice? Always make sure you know where the utility poles are. Okay. That, that sounds like that hurt. I don't know where the lady went. She went round here. Where is she? Ah, there she is. Well, I didn't expect to see you back here. Less is more. Less talking, less interaction, less commotion. Blend in. It's the last place they'll expect an intrusion, so you'll have that to your advantage. Pretty much everything else is at your disadvantage. Coordinating infill and exfil. We've had to move mountains to fashion an untraceable route to Lubyanka Square. I'll make sure that goes off without a hitch. Getting you out, however, is another headache entirely. I've requested updated aerial reconnaissance to aid in planning your escape route. I don't want to run into any unknowns. Our path out of the Soviet Union will be anything but conventional. 
Hudson has his biases. There are people he'll never trust, and certain people he trusts impeccably. It just so happens you fall into the former category. I wouldn't dwell on it. Hudson was leery about commingling with other intelligence agencies, but after President Reagan greenlit Adler's operation, he fell in line like a good little American patriot. It's not exactly something I'm proud of, Belle. The scar represents a moment of naivete in my life. I'm not keen on broadcasting it. I believe there are better ways to embellish one's character. But in our line of work, it's often more important to diminish the impression we leave on people. I'll be here if you need me. Well, so that's her speaking to. Can we speak to this better? Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? Hmm. Is that right? Well, at least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now, what is it? Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but he won't go near that list of names. We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. That's on a need-to-know basis. And from where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. An excellent proposition. Right, so there we go. Spoken to everyone and had a debrief on everything. So, that's the end of part five and we shall do part six in just a second. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. God damn it.